Hello and welcome to another season on our garden. We're in the shed today because it's so cold. Now I hope you all had a good holiday and rested nicely, ready for the season in front of us. We have quite a bit to do this year, we want to produce quite a few crops. Now as I say we started in the shed, I've got my potatoes arrived and I've put them in these trays to sprout. It is rather cold in this shed but the potatoes are fine. These potatoes here are Sapomira which are the blight resistant ones. We we'll see how we get on with that. I have grown I have grown them once before and I was quite impressed with them. We'll see how we get on with those. These are acoustic. So they are an earlier potato. These at the back of what we saved of our own potatoes, these are all main crops. Uh, these are the ones that we got from Scotland. We'll see how we get on again with those. Now I will be transferring them to egg trays, uh, but I don't know I don't know quite where they are at the moment. I have decorated the shed, so I've put everything away. And now I've got to find it all again, like you do. But the shed's nice and clean and tidy. It's ready for the next season. Potatoes are doing well. Temperature, 4.8. We have no heat in this shed at all. We just keep the propagators in here. And that keeps the seeds warm and gives off a little bit of heat for us in here but there's no actual heating in here the windows i cover up at night on the outside just to stop the cold air from hitting them at the moment the ground outside is frozen solid there's quite a thick layer of snow still on them on the soil and the wind chill it's terrible at the moment, so there's no chance of going down there. It's very, very cold out. But they say next week we're getting some warmer weather. If it does arrive, or when it arrives, we'll go down. We've got some pruning to do that must be done while the plants are dormant. That's the um, soft fruits and the apple tree. We must get those done will also give the apple tree a winter wash and put some new grease on, on the trunk while we're down there. But as I say, we'll do that when the weather breaks a little bit. Now the other thing I need to tell you, we've both been for our injections against COVID and it's no problem, it was nothing to have done, we were both expecting some side effects but there was nothing so and we're quite looking forward to april now to get the second one so that's that nicely out the way the potatoes are out here sprouting and now we need to get some seed in i have put one or two bits in i'll show you that but i did that this morning and then we'll put the onions in put some peppers in and some aubergines i think get those on the way but do be careful don't set too much yet especially if you're in we're sort of middle england and the weather is very very cold so don't be tempted yet to put too much in because when it's all grown you've got to find somewhere to put it if the weather breaks again so let's clear the bench and get ready for setting some seed now these are the seeds we're putting in today. The bullhorn pepper, the globe onion, the red baron, and the pepper yellow bell. I've already put those three in this morning. Now this afternoon we'll pop in a few aubergine, some more peppers, that's the red pepper, king of the north. Quite hardy one, that's a good pepper. The globe onions I'm putting in are Red Baron, which I've already put in, some Bristol F1, 
and some Santero F1. Now these are the trays we're going to use. These are the wooden ones I made. The compost is quite warm because I have preheated it in the propagator. You might just see a little bit of steam come off. The other thing I've actually done as well, I've pre-wet it so we're not going to put cold water onto it. The other thing is I keep the bottle with a little bit of water in in the propagator itself so when these seeds do start germinating I can just keep them nice and moist with that warm water. So let's put the aubergines and these peppers in first. It's quite flat the compost because it's been pre-wetted but I should just make a little trench for each run of seed. I'm going to put two varieties of seed in there. Aubergines, money maker, did quite well last year. Now remember with your first set, don't put everything in. If you put half in, then if it fails, you've only lost half. If you put it all in, you've lost it all and you've got to source some more seed. And we're that early in the season round here, we've got plenty of time, we can always so let's pop them in what I do I just make a little crease on the bottom like that and then I just tap these are foil lined seed packs so they're easy to easy to uh, tap out with there's a hundred there's 30 seeds in there and I want about 10 I think one two three they'll come I think this moment they're sleeping at the back they didn't want to come out it's warm in there there you go let's put two more in we've got two more there's one no, no, they're all stuck in the bottom. Fold them over with your foil and give it a good squeeze, make it airtight. And then we'll put a, put a label on. There you go, that's aubergine in there. The ones we're going to put in this side are the first set of the King of the North Peppers. These are the red ones, they do quite well. Same again, just wait for them to come down. Quite big seeds. I think I think that'll do for the first set. I don't want to put too many in. I'm going to cover the seed with a little bit of vermiculite and if you put it into a scoop and just backwards and forwards it until we got a good covering. You can cover them with compost if you want. But I find this is a little bit better. It keeps the top nice and moist. Not too much. That'll do. And then we'll press it down so that the seeds make contact with the compost. That's it. Dust it off. And we'll put it in the propagator. Now the onions, what I'll do is I use the edge and just make well, four, four lines. The compost is good quality seed and potting compost. These are onions Bristol F1. We just scatter a few up each line, there's no need to count these. Wait till they start rolling down and then just move along. 
You don't want to put them in too thick as you when we come to potting them on you the, all the roots will be tied up together and be quite a job. Few more in that line now. Here we are. First set we will go again. They're Bristol, they're hybrid. We should be alright. And then scatter along the lines. I don't wet this once I've done because the compost has been pre-wetted and the water will find its way into this vermiculite and dampen it all off. With it being a bit on the light side, if you water and it's a bit heavy, the way you put the water on it will scatter so it's best just to leave it. Firm it down. That's it. Nice contact then. Brush off and pop that in the pot. Now this will be the last one today. This is onion again, Santerio. We grew this last year. It's a nice brown onion and it tastes good too. And it's kept awfully well. It's still got some hanging in the shed. Same again, four lines on it, so we'll just fill each line up. And then towards the end of next week, we'll set another line so we haven't got everything all up together. And then we can spread them out. Again, far too many for what we'll ever want, but there's plenty of people who will have some onion plants. Crease them over again. Label. And then a good sprinkling. Now we do have a, a light that we put over these, but I won't put the light on until I actually see them beginning to germinate. And then we'll put the uh, the lighter above them. There's plenty of time putting your onions in now. The thing is if you put them in a bit late when they do start growing the weather and the light levels are a lot better so they actually grow quicker and they'll catch up any that's already been set. Now these are the propagators we use. They're actually in a box and the box has got a polystyrene filler so there's no actually heat loss away from the propagators itself. Any space like this, I just put trays in ready. We will find something to put in them. But then they seem to hold the warmth down into the, the bottom. And then what I do, I just leave that bottle on there as well. So when they do come up, I can keep the tops moist with tepid water. These are the seeds we've put in today and there was a bit of space there so I left that one in and we'll set that one later. They do steam up and in the morning when I come down I just take them off, give them a quick wipe and then pop them back on. With the seeds just going in I'll keep the vents Close for today. Perhaps open them up a little bit tomorrow to let some let some of the damp air out. The seeds that we've opened, as you know, I folded the tops over very well because they're in these foil bags, and then I popped them into a Ziploc bag like that. And being that we're going up the house, I'll put the pen in as well push the air out and then that goes into my tin up at the house. I don't keep seed down here in the shed, I'm afraid it's too damp for keeping seed down here. Made the start to the season 
I'm just looking at the windows behind Diane and there's snow everywhere still so there'll be no actual gardening this week. Next week when the weather breaks we'll go down and we'll do some pruning, get some winter wash done, get those uh, grease bands on, get the every start and get everything ready for the plants waking up. I do notice that the blueberries are beginning to show a little tiny bit of leaf even though we've got this very very cold weather so whether they'll keep it on or not i don't know we'll see so i shall see you next week everybody keep warm look after yourselves stay safe we'll see you next week bye now